FSA BB30 Road Crank Set Installation. For correct BB30 crank installation, verify that the frame BB shell specification is compatible with the BB30 system. Installation of BB30 crank set in a non-BB30 bottom bracket BB shell will result in damage and failure of crank set. BB30 Frame Inspection The bottom bracket shell of the BB30 frame should be inspected for proper diameter and bearing seat alignment before crank installation. The inspection can be performed with BB30 Shell ID Go No-Go Gauge BB30 Bearing Seat Alignment Gauge BB30 Shell ID Go No-Go Gauge the BB30 Shell ID Go No Go gauge quickly verifies that the bearing seat diameter is within specification for proper bearing fit. Ensure the surfaces to be inspected are clean and free of debris, dirt, or excess paint. The Shell ID Go No Go gauge is two sided. Insert side labeled Go into the right and left side of the BB shell. If the gauge does not fully insert into either end of BB shell, the BB shell has an undersized inner diameter and cannot be used until reamed to the proper diameter. Insert the side labeled NG into the right and left side of the BB shell. The gauge must not fit into either end of BB shell. If the no-go side of the gauge fits into the BB shell, the inner diameter is oversized and cannot be used. BB30 Bearing Alignment Gauge The BB30 Bearing Alignment Gauge has two parts. The gauge quickly verifies the bearing seats are in alignment with each other. If the bearing seats aren't aligned, the bearings will bind when the crank set is installed. Insert shaft with handle into left or right BB shell opening. Slide the opposing side of the gauge onto the shaft. If gauge binds or needs excessive force to fully seat within BB shell, this indicates the BB shell is not aligned and cannot be used. Crank sets installed in a frame out of BB30 tolerances shell will not move freely and wear BB30 bearings prematurely. FSA BB30 Road Crank Installation Instructions Tools Frame Preparation Ensure BB shell surfaces are clean and free of debris, dirt, or excess paint before bearings installation. Apply a thin layer of grease to the inside surface of the bottom bracket shell. Do not face or machine BB shell. It is not necessary for BB30 system. BB shell circlips installation. Using the circlip pliers, insert the circlips into the machined circlip groove in BB shell. Always wear eye protection when installing or removing circlips. Ensure circlip is fully seated in groove. BB30 bearings installation. Using the FSA bearing installation press number EE037 and 32mm wrench, press one BB30 bearing into BB shell until it is butted against the circlip. Do not over tighten the installation press or the circlip may get damaged and need to be replaced.
Install the opposite bearing using the same procedure. Note that both right and left BB30 bearings are the same. BB30 bearings must be installed aligned with frame BB shell. Bearings installed not parallel may cause premature bearing wear and BB shell inner surface damage. FSA BB30 road crank arm installation. Apply a thin layer of grease on the surface between the drive crank arm and the aluminum bearing shield. Install the bearing shield on the right bearing with flange machined grooves on alloy covers toward bearing. Completely insert the right crank arm and spindle through the BB30 bearings. Position non-drive side bearing shield over left bearings with flange inward toward the bearings. Apply light grease to spindle splines. Install wave spring washer over spindle on left side of BB shell. Install the left crank by engaging the spindle hole of crank to spindle. Thread self-extracting crank bolt into spindle using a torque wrench with 10 mm Allen key. Tighten crank bolt to a torque of 38 to 41 Nm, 337 to 363 inch pounds. The wave spring washer does not have to be completely compressed for proper use. Clearance between non-drive arm and bearing shield is 1.5 to 2.2 millimeters. If the crank bolt is tightened to maximum allowable torque, 41 Nm, 363 inch pounds, and there is lateral movement or play in the BB30 system, remove the crank arm and install 0.5 millimeters BB30 plastic shims between bearing cover and wave spring washer to remove the excess play. BB30 bearing removal. Tools. BB30 bearing removal. The Professional FSA BB30 Bearing Removal Tool, number EE038, has three parts. Tilt threaded shaft segment inward and position the flattened portion on the inside face of the bearing. Slide cup guide over shaft so that it is in contact with frame BB shell. Thread the nut over the threaded shaft segment and turn with a 32 millimeter wrench. Extract the bearing by turning the nut counterclockwise with the 6mm Allen tool. BB30 Bearing Maintenance Tools With the bearing removed from the BB shell, carefully remove both bearing seals using a razor blade or scratch all. If the seals look worn, damaged, or discolored, they should be replaced during assembly. Use a gentle solvent to clean bearing. Do not use alkali or acid-based solvents on the bearing. Let bearing dry before applying new grease. Rotate the bearing races by hand. 
Check for looseness, grit feel, or roughness. If bearings feel loose or rough when cleaned, they may be worn or damaged and need replacing. Using a grease syringe, inject 0.5 milliliters of bearing grease into bearing on side where the bearing balls are showing. Do not apply to side with bearing cage showing. Carefully reinstall bearing seals to original position. Ensure the seal is flat and evenly placed between bearing races. Rotate bearing by hand to allow grease to settle in between bearings. For ceramic ball bearings, use grease syringe with high quality low friction grease included in crankset package.